Family, friends, and fellow entertainers gather today to remember comedian Brandon Boogie B. Montrell. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Sharice Gibson. And I'm Devin Bartolotta. Katie is off tonight. Montrell was gunned down in late December. Police say he was an innocent bystander. And tonight there was an update in his case. Police have identified a suspect and issued an arrest warrant, but they are tight-lipped about any details. Well, this news breaks on the day the 43-year-old was laid to rest. And Mac Ferris was there as loved ones said goodbye. It was a New Orleans style send off on a beautiful day, but this celebration of life was for one taken far too soon. It's probably the best thing that I could ever think for him to go out like this. It's beautiful. A lot of people, it's superstars. They stop in traffic for him. I don't, I don't think there's anything better. This made me real happy today just to see so many people that loved him and so many hearts he touched. Brandon Washington is one of Brandon Boogie B. Montrell's five children. Their father was only 43 years old. The comedian was shot and killed two days before Christmas while in a car in the parking lot of the downtown Rouse's Grocery. Police don't think the bullet was meant for him. It totally saddens me because that should not have been. And to come home and be gone. Monica Emery is from L.A. She says she was part of the old deaf comedy jam days and says that Boogie B was not only a cultural ambassador for Louisiana, but had the talent to make it big. This is difficult. This is difficult because he was a bright, shining light. Um, and uh, even though he was not a part of those days, he was up and coming and for sure to be a bright, shining light within the comedy community. At the service before the second line, fellow comedians told stories that made mourners laugh about their friend. But the reality of a friend who's no longer here hit hard. This speaker said, as comedians, we work so hard for a standing ovation. Then his voice cracked, and he asked for one for his friend. Right now, could y'all just give my bus? It lasted 25 seconds. Meg Ferris, Eyewitness News. Now again, one suspect has been identified in Boogie B's death. Interim NOPD Superintendent Michelle Woodfork made that announcement earlier this afternoon. She told us an arrest warrant had been secured, but they have yet to catch that suspect. So they initially released these pictures of these two suspects that's on your screen. It's unclear which, if either of these people, is the person who was identified. But now because of that, we wanted to make sure to show you these pictures again. So take a look at your screen right now since police are still trying to figure out who at least one of them is. Yesterday, we were also notified about another person of interest. Krishina Broussard is not wanted on any criminal charges, but we're told that she may have some information about what exactly happened. The NOPD says Broussard drove away in this 2020 Silver Honda Accord Sport. If you have seen this car or know where Broussard might be or know anything about the suspects, you're asked to call the homicide unit or Crime Stoppers to make an anonymous tip. That number is 504-822-1111.